Today we get to watch two units being printed by one AMT printer at the same time by Printstones 3D. This is the very first video filmed by our Middle Eastern representative, Bibo, or Hassan. He's a master's student who's really excited about the future of 3D printed construction. You'll meet him soon. It's really hot during the summer in Dubai, so you can tell they're breaking up ice to put in the water this will help cool down the system and give the concrete more time to set. You want your concrete setting about three or four layers in, not much faster than that so that you can have a monolithic structure. They're really getting a great layer quality on this print. It's also supposedly very easy to set up, but we didn't get to see that process. Later in this video, there's an extended interview with Printstone's CEO, Nick, who tells us more about setting up the printer and the process also, there are other projects in Dubai. Check out how they're collecting the material that's being extruded while they perfect the quality of the mix. It's important to make sure your water all gets hammered before use. Just kidding, he's breaking up the ice. Different teams handle reinforcement with different solutions. In this case, they're cutting rebar or joining the inner and outer walls together. You'll notice in the corner, there's lots of exposed rebar. They'll be building traditional columns in these sections after the print. CEO Nick dives into that more later. I have to say, this team is really getting very good outdoor layer quality. This may be a benefit of printing between many taller buildings. It might be providing some wind protection, simulating printing in an indoor or tent environment. Huge shout out to Hassan, who you'll meet in a minute, and the Printstones 3D team for their openness and transparency in allowing an automated construction journalist to visit an active print and film their awesome work happening in Dubai. They're among the few teams who are actively printing buildings today in 2024. Hello, I am Habib Rahman. I am Automate Construction's Middle East representative. And we are here in Dubai, United Arab Emirates to check out one of the latest 3D printed projects by Printstone 3D. So we are here with Mr. Nick, he's the founder and CEO of Printstone 3D. Uh, could you please tell us a little bit first about Printstone in general? So this is a project of two driver's room uh, near the existing villas and the challenge was to place the uh, printer inside the existing uh, construction site with other works ongoing at the same time. So we work at night and the, all the other works are ongoing uh, at the daytime. So we brought the printer and they installed, it's very easy to install the S S300, so we put uh, four foundations with a crane and then we erect columns with a crane and took around like maybe two, three hours. Uh, then we uh, put the support beams and then we put the portal beam with a head. Uh, totally took us uh, one shift and then the, ch then the challenge was to adjust the printer to the foundation, which was not actually Two, two houses were not aligned, they were a little bit angled to each other and for 3D printing, you know, we have to, uh, because we are printing two projects at the same time, uh, this is a kind of, uh, between them there would be a boundary wall, uh, so these are two separate plots and uh, uh, we had to uh, adjust uh, the G-code to the existing foundation. Now, so here you can see that the existing foundation was not uh, enough for the printed layer. So the width of the layer is four centis. Now we have here three, uh, uh, two centis. So that's why, uh, and all other uh, places where uh, re columns, uh, reinforcement columns should be uh, stand, they uh, are, have the same problem. That's why we don't print this time the firm work around the columns. It will be done conventionally using the plywood, uh, shut plywood shuttering and then it will be casted. So uh, other challenges were to adjust, well, there were a lot of uh, small uh, details like embedded, embedded rebars, embedded uh, conduit, uh, conduits for wiring, which were not exactly placed because it was not done for 3D originally, the foundation, I mean. And we had to adjust the G-code uh, based on the uh, 3D model to the real foundation existing. So we had to adjust some, uh, some lines of the code. Well, uh, uh, yeah, and uh, here you can see that uh, actually we are now on the street. This will be the uh, uh, street uh, uh, observable view. And this is the uh, line between two plots. So these are two separate uh, uh, buildings. 
we are the exclusive dealer of AMT. This is one of uh, the oldest producers of the 3D printers globally. And we are exclusive dealers in the UAE and uh, in the Gulf region. So uh, we're thinking of Africa as well. And uh, uh, yeah, we came here. The, this printer, this is S300, uh, uh, been uh, uh, installed in the shortest version possible. So this is uh, nine meter by six meter by six meter. And it can be twice higher, twice wider and twice longer. So we bring this printer, this machine here, uh, actually 11 months ago. And this is our project number four. So we do this, uh, we did several projects for Nahil, a developer, and uh, now we are doing this project for Dubai Municipality. And this is the project of two driver rooms. So that these are the villas, and these are the rooms where the drivers will wait for oh, until they're not, you know, driving. <laughs> Uh, so we were asked to do it fast and we set the machine inside the existing camp. So one of the uh, key, uh, key things uh, uh, is that this printer can be adjusted very fast. Actually, we started printing last week. We did a lot of research and development job regarding mixes, but I guess it's a kind of second question. So uh, generally, yeah, we are operating for 11 months now and uh, this is our project number four. We are actually at the moment the only company who, pre who actually prints here in Dubai this year until now so it's something like this this, no, this is number three and number four actually these are two two drivers zoom because these are two separate villas but they are located nearby and uh, the boundary wall goes between these uh, projects so we print them simultaneously two two houses at two plots at the same time that's very efficient then two projects and you're then yeah. doing it at the same time right and were the, all your previous projects done with the same printer or did yeah you with the same printer one? but in a different area it's all for john that's the gate houses for uh, one of uh, uh, developments of Nahil and uh, yeah they are very interesting in the terms of architecture so the canopy there is three times wi wider than the the printing uh, printed field I mean the, the than the actual uh, building and we had to provide very many interesting engineering solutions and last uh, hurricane not a not a single drop goes through and it's uh, quite stable so yeah oh, uh, we are proud of it yeah so it sounds like a very interesting project we'll probably have to check that one out sure so that no was problem. your first project here in the yeah UK. right oh, yeah, that's amazing man. and this is your third or fourth piece of yeah okay and do you have any uh, other printer in your factory i think I've yeah we do not a, a so we have the uh warehouse printer which is capable of printing seven meters by seven and a half by seven and a half meters and uh, uh, we use it for uh, producing like small architectural forms, benches, uh, chairs, uh, tables, street furniture. Well, and as well, we can print the buildings in, uh, you know, like a preprint and then deliver it to the uh, site. But uh, that type of project has not come yet. We are discussing a couple of projects of, of that kind now. But you're capable of doing that. So you're capable of doing on-site printing and you're yeah. also capable so of doing Yeah, so for off-site off printing, the key issue, the engineering, I mean, it has to be very well uh, aligned so you don't have problems at uh, combining them together at the site. That's very well. Can you tell us about the crew? So how many do you have on-site? How many do you need oh, to... Oh, today you have, uh, well, you see a lot of guys here. Usually it's like three. So three. But now we have uh, the person from the uh, company producing the mix and uh, I would say that they uh, their approach is very comprehensive actually we are printing in the, in the harshest conditions of uh, the midsummer in Dubai and uh, the humidity now you can see uh, you can see it on yourself yeah, yeah no, it is so very we are, we are a little that. It is very we are a little bit used but still the humidity is uh, well the temperature outside now is 38 degrees and the humidity is uh, I guess around I will check uh, around 70, yeah, what around 70 from, what I, from what I feel. So it's quite wet and humid and the mix actually has to be settled to these parameters of the temperature because otherwise it can get stuck th somewhere or le uh, get less flowability or... Okay, the, you have to play with different parameters and the provider of the mix, the Skyboom company, one of two operating here in the local market, they have done very good job. I mean, the, uh, the answer to your question is we have many guys now because there are two guys from uh, another team they are from the mix provider and uh, generally the team will be three people so one ca one uh, operator one assistant and one labor okay, but now you have a little bit more because you have someone from yeah from yeah, yeah okay so since we brought up the topic of the mix can you speak to us a little bit about the mix you said you had someone who uh, well we have tried actually this is uh, uh, I would say this is not only a construction but a full research and development program because uh, project because uh, I would say that uh, uh, it's a really hard task to print in these conditions and we, if we succeed uh, it means that the printing season in Dubai is 24, uh, well 12 months a year. 
because uh, we were sprinting in, in uh, December, it was perfectly fine. Uh, the weather was nice and, uh, you know, we still print at nights because we hide the freshly printed layers from direct sunlight. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, uh, generally, uh, the mix uh, is a key component. So these guys have done their job well. They have tested uh, R&D because we have different types of mix being used on different layers, layers and you can see that uh, the difference comes in like the density, the flowability, the uh, well other other properties of the mix which are uh, very important for the walls to be uh, consistent, for the layers to be consistent and there so there are no bubbles and no possible cracks afterwards. And yeah, we cure the so we use uh, the cure system from uh, Sika. I mean, the cure agent. So we try, uh, uh, and we don't cover this building with the material when we uh, finish. So that's a kind of brave research. Just, just, just try to see how, how it behaves. But it is being treated, uh, cured with a special agent. Nice. So yeah, uh, that's why we go a little bit slower than we expected. This is day printing day number four, I guess. But we was we was so, so today we're gonna get up to 150 uh, we start from one and we are gonna get up to 150 but this uh, one meter was done in three days because we was you know adjusted so has the, in has the instability in the weather caused a little bit of issues with your mix uh, you it's not the, the, the weather is quite stable and hot <laughs> so some days there were less humidity like we had one day we had 40 percent of humidity you know it was a it was a holiday <laughs> Yeah, but, uh, now, but uh, related to the mix, uh, we ju uh, the guys have just changed different components for flowability, for extrudability, for setting time. Now we find what we think to be the right mix for this weather. Hopefully, inshallah. Inshallah, inshallah. Okay, so just, just uh, to go back, so the mix you said you're using a curing agent by Sika. Yeah, yeah. And, and the mix is provided by Skybomb company. By Skybomb, by Skybomb. Okay. And these, these are the, you have the guys here from Skybomb. From Skybomb, right. Thanks for watching. It was really fun for me to be part of the audience like you guys when I was first reviewing this footage. Hopefully, I'll get to work with many more international journalists. I've already got Europe and the Middle East covered, but I'm looking for people in Asia, Australia, and South America who can cover projects in those regions and travel to them much cheaper than someone would have to if they were flying overseas. I'd like to bring you the most innovative projects from all around the world. So if you're excited about that, make sure to like, subscribe, and let me know what you think of this expansion idea in the comments of working with more international 3D printed construction journalists. Have you signed up for the daily newsletter yet? Link in the description below. Every single day I send out the best links I can find.